Hello everyone, it's Christine and I'm back for another episode of our Stitch Along and we're going to continue with the fun of bullion knot and we'll do a different variation of a bullion knot rose and this one is called the Susan O'Connor rose so that's the one we did last night that was my little play one before we started roses and I'll do um, tonight's one in the centre here now you'll if you're going to follow along with what the book does which I will follow this time we're going to use three shades of pink thread um, and it begins with a bullion loop in the center and in the book they're using two strands of silk thread but I'm just going to use um, pearl a um, cotton so number 16 number 12 they're both Finca, and I'm not sure what this one is so I'm just going to use those three colors darkest medium and light so I'm going to sort of find my halfway point which I've just um, marked with my needle ahead of time about there just get my threads out of the way so I don't knock them so I'm going to bring my thread through I've got a little knot on the back and then I'm going to make a little tiny stitch close to where I've come through but not through the hole now because I'm using my large needle because it's easier for you to see it's just a little bit more fiddly so you're not going to take the needle right through you're going to turn um, the fabric so that the needle faces upwards um, and place your thumb under the tip of the needle to raise it off the fabric and then we're going to wrap the thread wrap the thread once clockwise around the shaft of the needle uh, around the shaft of the needle wrap the thread evenly around the needle nine more times so we're essentially doing ten wraps two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is just a slightly different method where you prop the needle up with your thumb so I'm just following the book so you get to yeah hear and see what the what the book says and then placing your left thumb on the wraps to hold them firmly begin to ease the eye of the needle through the wraps so it's as we always do with a bullion knot we're holding on to our little wraps and we're easing it through And so you want to do it till your wraps are nice and tight. So with this one, we're actually going to make um, a little rosebud, essentially. So a little wrapped knot. And we're going to anchor it back into where it started. So it's going to be a tight little, tight little knot like that. And then it says end off on the back with a tiny stitch, tiny back stitch. So we can do that. Oops. Okay, so we're then going to be doing the inner petals, rotate the fabric and change to a lighter shade. So first of all, before I rotate fabric, I'll change to a lighter shade. I'll keep that one there in case we need it. So I'll go to my medium colored pink. So just threading the needle as per usual. then we're going to rotate the fabric and so they're saying that the top of the fabric should be pointing to the left so I've rotated the fabric and then I'm going to bring the needle to the front at B halfway along so actually it sort of essentially what would be if it was up the right way um, at the top but it's at the side of the little rosebud knot I might go a tiny bit closer there and then take the needle from C to B leaving it in the fabric as we do and in fact 
actually got in the picture that we almost sort of cross over cross over like that and then wrap the thread clock clockwise around the needle ten times again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I find it much easier to put my finger under the needle than it is to put the thumb under, but that's probably just because it's what I'm what I'm used to. Got hooked around the side of my embroidery hoop. And so we're going to do that and then release the tension on the working thread, stretch the fabric flat again. This will cause the stitch to fall into position. So you want it to kind of form a pleat and then you want it to just wrap around the little um, rosebud in the center. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. And then we're going to leave our fabric. It doesn't show that we turn our fabric at all. Um, and so we're going to take the needle to the back at C, which is where we, where we are. And then pull the thread through. Okay, so we're going to rotate our fabric now so that our first little petal is sitting off like this. And then we're going to pop our needle up at D about here. And then we're going to pop our needle in on the other side, just to the other side of our little rosebud over here and pop it out. And then we're going to do our 10, 10 wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to pull it through holding on to our little column so we keep them in in order behaving themselves and we're going to get our next little um, petal that wraps around the previous one we're then going to take our needle to the back and that completes the second petal and then we're going to bring the needle to the front just um, slightly set back from where we've finished that last petal at F. And then we're going to take the needle from G between the center and first petal. There, and then we'll do our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wraps. Holding on to our little wraps, making sure our end, I've left the end a bit long in there, so I just need to find which one's my end one and pull that through. There we go. And then this one will position around to make the third little wrapped stitch. And we'll anchor that down where that little thread is. And we'll just make sure it lays, lays flat. So there we go, all wrapping around the center. Okay, so we've got end off on the back, um, so we'll do that now because we've got our three stitches and then we're going to be moving on to the outer petals. Keep that piece of thread as well and then I was going to use, yeah, this one, this one for the outer. Okay, 
So I'll just thread my needle, tie a knot. Okay. Now, where are we going to pop out? So we're going to bring the thread to the front at what they call H and they've got the fabric sort of twisted so it's um, on an angle like that and H will be about about there I think we're just we're just back from that petal and then we're going to turn the fabric this way I don't know why I suppose they have to do that for the instructions and then bring the needle from I through to H so they're saying from about there through to H they haven't actually got the exact um, spot marked but I find it much easier when I'm doing the twisting to have it pointing this way to especially for the camera Oops, and I've just got the thread twisted around there. I'll just get that to sit straight, I think, so I don't end up with a knot at the end. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my tail is again way too long. So I'll pull that through first, keeping hold of my little column of twists. And then we're going to lay that one flat there and go back into the fabric where the hole is. So that then creates the first of our little outer petals. And then we're going to still have it like that. And we're going to bring the needle to the front at J. So just slightly set back from the petal that we just finished. So again, it's just that technique where it's setting it back so you get that nice little wrappiness. And then we're going to bring the needle through from about K. They call it K, but it's about, let me just show you, about there. Oops, probably just need to be a tiny bit closer to that stitch. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then bringing the needle through, holding on to our twists. And taking it back into the fabric where it is. And so that's given us our next little petal. Then next up we're going to have the fabric turn towards us and we're going to bring the needle to the front at about L. So again just set back a little bit from where our last petal finished and then bring the needle under from about M over here over to there and then we'll do our 10 wraps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on to our little wraps, ease our needle through. And then we're going to anchor that one back in. And then we're going to rotate it around further again so that it is like that. And the needle is going to come up, oh yep, just slightly back from where that last one was. And then we're going to come across from O, which I think it's just about just about there I think it's a bit 
hard to tell exactly where on the diagram they're indicating, but I reckon that will do. So something a bit like, a bit like that. And then the 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then easing the needle through, holding on to our little loops. So we've done that. So we're going to anchor that one down as well. And then we're going to, which way are we facing? And then we're meant to be facing this way with the fabric and we're going to come out at approximately P, so over here where we just finished, I think. Maybe a smidge back. P and then bring it through from Q. Q is just inside the first bullion knot. Of this round so again we are just um, going to have that overlapping that we did on the last rows as well so that's interesting both of them have that same same technique for the final one two three four five six seven eight nine ten So then we're just going to tuck our thread back down at that point, which should then take our final little petal into the center. So you've then got each of these. I'll just sort of straighten them out a little bit. And we'll just put the needle to the back so it's not in the way. And then that is our little little rose. It's a little bit of fluff doing there. And so they're sort of just going round in a yeah, a little spinny spinny ring. It's quite nice because you can make it sit up a bit more from the fabric by just sort of poofing it up, or you can um, make it lie a bit flatter. I'm sure if you gave it an iron, it would lie even flatter. I think I still prefer the the um, one we did last night, but yeah, they're both both nice versions. So there you go, that's the Susan O'Connor Rose. So I will see you tomorrow for a bullion knot rosebud. So we'll be using, well it says varying thread colours, differing the number of knots and wraps, um, and then you put a little green stem on it. So I might do, might do one of those in there, or maybe I'll do, maybe we'll do two together let's have a look um, and then there's also a bullion knot rose with a padded satin center coming up too and then after that we're on to a bullion knot bear so yeah maybe I'll do a rose bud and then a padded um, center rose across the top then we'll have all our roses in a row so thanks for watching folks and take care. Hope you are having a great day or a great evening. Bye everyone.